What's up, Pyromaniacs? Parastasis here, and we are back in the world of Minecraft. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Forge. Forge is one of the required uh, items that will allow you to run a lot of the cooler mods in the game. Now, what I just did here was I just reinstalled Minecraft. For those of you who have a copy of Minecraft installed, you've got some issues with it, or you want to just start over from scratch, easiest way to do this is open up your Minecraft uh, directory, which you can find right here at users, whatever your username you're logged into is, appdataroaming.minecraft. And then you just highlight all of this stuff and delete it. However, be aware that this is going to delete all of your worlds, your saves, all of your mods, etc., including texture packs. So make sure that you are completely ready to restart or you've backed everything up like I have over here. All right, so now that we've got Minecraft up and running and you can see there is nothing special or anything going on here, we're going to go ahead and exit out. I'm going to show you guys how to get mod or Forge installed. So once we've got this open, you click on bin, you go down to Minecraft, right click and go open. And I use WinRAR. Uh, you may be able to use uh, 7-Zip. I've never used that personally, but use your archiving program of choice. And now we need to open up the uh, Minecraft Forge folder. There we go, now we're open here. And what we're basically wanting to do is merge these two archives. So we've got Minecraft up here, Forge here. Click on one of the Forge files, press Control A, that's Control Alpha, and then drag over and drop on one of the class files over here. Be careful not to drop it on one of the directories. If you do that, then there's a possibility it'll merge into the directory and that's really not gonna help you. All right, once that has done thinking and is set up, click on meta-inf and then delete it. You're gonna get a little bit more thinking there and then you're good to go and close both of those archives. With that set up, you can tab back out and you're gonna see your main directory hasn't changed much. Well, we need a mods folder here so that we can add our mods to it. So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft once again. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And you're going to notice FML starts up. That stands for Forge Mod Loader, I believe, and that's what helps load all the mod files. Now you're going to notice a few extra things. We've got a little bit of stuff down here. It says we've got two mods loaded with two of them active. You've got a mods button where you can see your mods list. Now that that's up, if you come back over here, you're going to notice we now have a mods folder. Well, let's go ahead and add a few mods to this. We're adding ICBM, Universal Electricity, and REI Minimap. It's one of the, uh, the things I'm going to be working on for a server I'm going to be setting up soon. FML runs again, and now we should see a different counter down here in the bottom left. We sure do. We got up to six. And you can scroll down and you can see REI Minimap. Whoops. Come on. You can see ICBM and Universal Electricity. Well, let's make sure these are working. We want to make sure we don't have any errors going on in the world. Nothing's uh, freaking out or blowing up or anything along those lines. And one of the easiest ways to test is just log in real quick. You know, one, make sure the textures aren't completely screwed. And two, make sure that you can build something from one of the mod packs. And we set up ICBM. This is a condensed explosive device, which is not available in vanilla Minecraft. And as you can tell, it is in and working just fine. So, hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.